Suppose the distribution represents the probabilities of extending a class x minutes past the end of class time. Looking at the distribution, notice how the probability density function is a horizontal line, which indicates we have a uniform distribution. The minimum value of x is zero on the left, and the maximum value of x is eight on the right. When we have a uniform distribution, we can determine the probability density function using the formula f of x equals one divided by the quantity b minus a, where b is the max and a is the min of the random variable x, which in our case gives us f of x equals one divided by the quantity eight minus zero, or f of x equals one eighth, which is equal to 0 0.125. Because the random variable x can take on all of the times from zero minutes to eight minutes, including all the decimal or fractional parts, the random variable x is a continuous variable not a discrete variable. We can say the random variable x is continuous because there exists fractional amounts of time, or we can go as far as saying an infinite number of fractional amounts of time, or an infinite number of decimal amounts of time from zero minutes to eight minutes. Next, the total area of the distribution rectangle which is the area under the probability density function from zero to eight is equal to one because this is a probability distribution and the sum of all the probabilities must be one. Or we can actually take the time to find the area by determining the area of the rectangle by multiplying the base times the height. Notice how the base is eight units. The height is equal to the constant given by the probability density function which is the fraction is one eighth. Of course, eight times one eighth is equal to eight eighths, which is equal to one. Next, the probability in decimal form of the class extending two or more minutes beyond the end time is what? Let's shade the area that represents this probability by shading the area under the probability density function to the right of two or from two to eight. This red area represents the probability the class has extended two or more minutes. We know the total area under the distribution function is one, and therefore we can think of this as a fraction bar. If we break this up into equally sized pieces, we can determine the value. So notice how if we cut the fraction bar here and here, the red area represents three fourths. Or we could also cut the area into eight equally sized pieces which would give us six eighths. But of course, three fourths is the simplified form of six eighths. Six and eight share a common factor of two, giving us three fourths. Three fourths is equal to three divided by four, which is equal to 0 0.75. Or we could also just calculate the area of the red rectangle by determining the base times the height. And let's also show that. We'll notice how the base of the red rectangle here would be eight minus two or six. And of course the height again is equal to one eighth. So six over one times one eighth, of course gives us six eighths, which is equal to three fourths. For the last statement, we want the probability in decimal form of the class extending two or less minutes beyond the end time. But we should be able to recognize this probability is gonna be equal to one minus the probability of the class extending two or more minutes, which we found in the previous problem. And one minus 0 0.75 is equal to 0 0.25. Let's also shade the area that represents this probability. We would shade the area to the left of two or between zero and two, which is this area here. And again, breaking this up into equally sized parts or pieces, we can see the red area is equal to one fourth. And one fourth is equal to one divided by four, which does give us 0 0.25. Or of course, we could also break it up into eight equally sized pieces, which would give us two eighths, but two eighths is equal to one fourth. Or we could also determine the area by determining the area of the rectangle. Notice for this rectangle, the base is two, the height is still one eighth. Two, 
2 or 2 over 1 times 1 eighth is equal to 2 eighths, which is 1 fourth. I hope you found this helpful.